Hi, printmakers. I'm here to talk to you about the watercolor monotype project. Um, for this, you're gonna need your plexiglass plate, and your watercolor set, which comes with a brush. And then on top of that, you'll want to need some water and paper towel or tissue. Watercolor is pretty fun because you can paint on this and then you let it dry. Later, you'll bring it to school. So you'll have to hold on to this at home. You're gonna paint on it with the watercolor. It's gonna dry. And then when you bring it to school on your next printing day, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it through the printing press with a wet piece of paper. The wet paper is going to reactivate the watercolor and make it turn alive again and print. So it's a pretty fun way um, to get a print and it's just a little different than the other way where you have to work while it's still wet. This is the opposite. If you tried to print while it's still wet, it would smear everywhere. So it's actually better to let it dry. And you're only making one of these because I actually want you to spend a lot of time on it. This is the only thing you're doing for class today. So that's two and a half hours at least that you can spend on this. You can always add more later as well. So once again, you can use the images from your stencils, same kind of ideas, or you can try something else. I found this picture in a magazine. So it was a good size and it felt like it would work well with watercolor. So the thing about this is you're not gonna see what it's actually gonna look like till you print it. Remember, first of all, it is gonna be backwards. If you're doing any words, once again, they have to be backwards. For this, I don't care if this prints the other way, it doesn't bother me, so I'm not worried about it. If you did care, what you would have to do is trace it and then flip and paint on the other side. But that makes it a little bit more difficult and I don't wanna do that. So. The main thing I can tell you in terms of advice is to make it as much pigment. It's going to print better. If everything you do is very watery like this, then it's going to bead up a lot. See the beads? So you kind of have to like build up layers to get more of a flat. So when I say that, I mean the more pigment. So sometimes you might think you are doing it thick, but you really want to like dig, like get in the watercolor and really like get as much on your brush as possible. Yeah. And just sort of build it, you know, you can add layers. And you want to keep your colors clean. You want to clean your brush between each use, otherwise everything's going to turn brown. So I'm going to get even more pigment, as much color on there as possible, because then it'll be more vibrant when you print it. If you want to know what it's going to look like, you can get an idea by putting white underneath it. So every once in a while you can switch it just to see how it's going. Anything you want to stay white, you just leave it white of the paper. I would recommend rather than using the white paint. The white paint is good for mixing, like if you want to mix with the blue. But for instance, in here, I would just leave this the white of the plate and the white of the paper, and I would just leave it blank. So you can just paint the, the windows. Now it's gonna feel very different than painting on paper. The biggest difference is the beading. So you just need, like I said, 
more paint. Just really get a lot of paint on your brush and then it's gonna go a lot better. And then of course, the nice thing is you can always erase, right? Either with a little bit of water on your brush or take your paper towel. Okay, so I see I have a little bit of a house in here as well. All right, so I have a lot of work left to do on this guy of all the trees. So like I said, take your time, build it up. Um, if you like the way this looks, the beading, you can do it on purpose also, because it can make um, kind of an interesting texture. Sometimes I actually like do like to use it in my art, but if you don't like it, you just need to add more paint, more pigment. See how this the white is getting full of color? Let's try to get as much of that off as possible. You can even take a little bit of your towel and clean it off as well. See? Now you're starting to get more of a flat as opposed to the beads but yet if you want it to be really rich and dark really load up that brush see the difference really load it up you're gonna get a better print that way okay so just go ahead and keep working um, keep spending time on it you can use family photograph, you can use a drawing of your own, you can make it up, you can put your stencils underneath and copy the shapes of the stencils, however you want to make your watercolor monotype.